Call of Duty has finally spoken out about the state of Vanguard zombies and what we can expect with Season 1. Or at least, they kinda did. So if we look at the release of all the info that is coming for Caldera and Warzone inside of Season 1, we get little tidbits here and there about multiplayer, zombies, and the like. Down right here it says, head back here soon and expect to learn about two free functional weapons, new operator, zombies content, multiplayer modes, and two maps all coming on December 8th. That includes a Pacific inspired take on a fan favorite classic Call of Duty map. Okay, so on an overview, we're gonna be getting two new weapons, an operator, uh, maybe, maybe some zombies content, some new multiplayer modes, and two maps coming on December 8th. Then it says, later in the season, expect the two other operators of SOTF006, an additional core multiplayer map, and a returning small team tactical mode. More information about what's coming to zombies soon. Another free weapon unlocked in challenges, and a festive celebration across both games. All of which, and much more, are locked and loaded to carry us through the holiday season. Until then, rise on every front. Honestly, I'm not gonna lie, it's almost like Call of Duty is making fun of us at this point. In this entire blog post, we learned about new maps that are coming to Call of Duty Vanguard multiplayer, we learned about new weapons, new operators, everything that we needed to know about the Pacific Warzone map called Dara, and all the new things coming in Season 1. But for Zombies players, we got a total of 10 words describing what we'll be seeing in Season 1. Zombies content, and more information on what's coming soon to Zombies. Meaning that when Season 1 drops, we're going to be getting some new Zombies content. Assuming that's going to be Covenants, maybe an extra world that we can go into and teleport to, a new objective or two, and score streaks, I guess, I think is something else that's coming. And then at Season 1 Reloaded, we're going to be getting information on what's coming soon in Zombies. Not something in Zombies, just information about what's coming in Zombies. Meaning probably, like... I don't know, some talks about an easter egg, because we know the easter egg is coming after season 1, maybe some talks about a whole different mode than Dare on Fong, I don't know, maybe we'll get lucky and see a wonder weapon in there somewhere, it's, it's just hilarious man, it is absolutely hilarious that this is how the zombies crew is being treated, and how the zombies players are being treat it. It's kind of disgraceful if I'm being honest, especially with how good Cold War was. Like, how could they just go in and absolutely slap us in the face like this with the lack of communication? It really doesn't make sense to me. And like, they're not even hiding it anymore. Like, they're literally just giving us 10 words in this entire big ass blog post. 10 words about Vanguard Zombies. It is just so disappointing, man, and I know you guys know, but man, is it hard to play zombies right now. The only reason there is to play Vanguard Zombies right now is to grind weapons through that stupid glitch that makes it so you get a ton of XP by getting only 35 kills and then quitting the game. It is just... We're in such a bad place for zombies, man. Multiplayer and Warzone are in a great, great spot, and I'm super excited to continue playing that. But zombies, I'm going to continue to try to bring you guys all the content I can on zombies know that I'm trying, and uh, we'll go from there, all right? I hope you guys have a great rest of your day, and I'll see you soon. I want to give a big shout out to all the channel members over on the channel, and an extra special shout out to all of the Zombie Richthoff members, starting off with hashtag best mod, strict archer, the quippest man in the southern hemisphere, commander underscore, whip, my guy, Ben the Bulldozer, and the man the myth the legend, Tiz Brandon, ZR.